Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to do, use the Revolve tool. So I'm going to start by going up to my on shape, and I'm going to use the practice folder, okay? And I will create, using the plus sign down here, I will create a new guy, we'll call it uh, practice03, okay? There we go. And like before, I'm going to start by selecting this pencil tool up here. Okay. Uh, I need to select a plane, so I, I like to use the front plane, so I'll select that. Okay, and then I also like to use the switch the front view so I can see it, so I'll go to front here. Oops, at the bottom there, that was an accident. That's okay. Go to front. There we go. Okay, and let's see. I'm going to start, I'm going to use the line tool. And I will click on that right there, okay? And to use the line tool, remember I can always make things bigger by using two fingers, okay? I start by clicking one place here and then dragging to the next place I want to go to. So I'm just going to say about there, it looks good, okay? And then I'm going to click on this dot right here, okay? And dragging... And we'll just say something like that, okay? Click on this dot again, drag. Now I want it to be even with this because I want I'm going to draw a vertical line, so I want this line to be even. So what I can do is I go hover over this line, and then pull down. You see that little dash line there, construction line. That means that end point is going to be the same place vertically um, as that line. Boom, and then again just click. There you go. I have now made a shape. Now, I'm going to make this shape a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, I'll drag out another line here. Oops, I didn't like that one. That's, that's a good idea. So let's select this guy. Oops, let's go uh, cancel. Let's always, we always go to the undo button. Remember up here, undo, undo. Okay, and back to my pencil or my line tool. Okay, so I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to drag, and I want to do something, sure, like that looks good, okay? I'm going to go back to my pencil again, and I'm going to select the three-point arc right here, okay? And again, I'm gonna, I want to go here, okay? And I want to go here, okay? And then I want my arc to be somewhere out here, so I'll make my third point, oops, let's try that. Make my third, then I can drag it. I'm just dragging right now until I get to where I want. You notice as I drag a certain distance, it highlights this top line up here. What that means is that line is now uh, perfectly aligned with this um, with this guy right here, or, or what it is is if you think in math terms, it's it's a tangent. Okay, it, it perfectly ties into this horizontal line here. So hit let go. Uh, I think I like that sketch, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus, the check mark down here. Okay. I am going to go back to my isometric view. So I'm going to go back to isometric and look at it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click on this guy right here. And I am going to select the revolve tool, which is right up here. Okay. And now I gotta decide what I want to revolve. I wanna revolve this shape here and this shape here, okay? And they're closed, okay? Meaning I got exactly in there. Uh, those, those, those lines are touching and closed. And that, way, that reason is letting me select them. If it wasn't closed, um, meaning like maybe these two lines weren't perfectly touching or meeting at the same point, then it wouldn't let me do this and I have to go back and fix that. But it did let me do that, so I selected two entities. These are the guys I want to revolve. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to select the revolve axis, okay? And what this does is it allows me to choose what do I want the center point to revolve around. And I'm going to choose this line right here. It instantly gives me a little preview. I like it. That looks good. Boom. There you go. You have now made a revolve. You can use your finger and take a look at it, see what it looks like two-dimensionally, pretty cool little tool. All right, guys, that's all I got.